Hello, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist in the Celiac Disease Program at the Mayo Clinic. And I'm responding to a question by one of our Mayo Clinic Connect members uh, who asked or mentioned that they've been diagnosed by celiac disease via endoscopy, but their blood tests for celiac disease were negative. Now, this is a very tricky circumstance because the blood tests for celiac disease are usually quite good, especially if the patient is eating a normal gluten-containing diet at the time the blood test is drawn. Assuming that this, uh, this patient indeed had been still on a normal gluten-containing diet at the time of the blood test, then it means that the diagnosis of celiac disease has to be called into question. There are other conditions that can cause villus atrophy. Those are the changes in the intestinal biopsies that are thought to be characteristic of celiac disease. And those other conditions include a condition called tropical sprue that can affect people who've traveled to certain tropical areas. It can be caused by medications that can cause damage to the intestine. Or sometimes even infections can cause this type of change. So when I see this discrepancy between the biopsies on the one hand suggesting celiac disease and the blood test coming out negative, I look very hard for other reasons why the intestine could be damaged. There are other reasons why a person with real celiac disease may have a negative blood test. They may be IgA deficient. This is often included or might have been tested in some of the panels that are used to test for celiac disease and certainly the panels we recommend here at the Mayo Clinic include a test for IgA deficiency. There are um, other immune disorders that can result in damage to the intestine that can mimic celiac disease. And why is it important to identify these alternative causes? Well, they have alternative treatments. They usually don't respond to a gluten-free diet, and some of them can be serious. Um, so the story is not over. Um, we will sometimes do genetic testing to make sure the patient has the genetic type for celiac disease, but that test is really only helpful if the test is negative. That is, they don't have the genetic type. If that's the case with this patient, then they definitely have to look for something else and look for some other alternative explanations. Thank you.